So here's a real easy question for being able to calculate k. So we're starting off, you're going to be asked, the very first question is, how do you calculate this k value? And you're going to be asked to plug numbers into that expression. Hey, but look, I've given you the equilibrium concentration. So I say, here's a reaction that's occurring. It's at equilibrium. And here are the equilibrium concentrations in big M, big M standing for moles per liter, right? So it's two moles per liter of this, one mole per liter here, and two moles per liter here. Is that possible? Well, I don't know, but here's the thing. It's at a given temperature, and whatever that temperature is, we have these values right here. And it's possible that at a certain temperature, those are could be equilibrium concentrations for K. By the way, um, I want to talk. I want to mention something about equilibrium constant K versus an equilibrium position. Now. If you have this reaction occurring right here, um, and it equals, when you plug in these numbers, a certain value for k, well, um, that is that value at a particular temperature, and there's only one k value at a particular temperature. But could you have different concentrations here, whatever these concentrations would be, in this condition right now, 2, 1, and 2, but maybe you have different numbers here. Can you have different numbers here and arrive at that k value being identical to that first one? Well, absolutely, sure. And what that means is this, that there's an infinite number of equilibrium positions for the concentrations of the chemicals, but they all make one k value. Infinite equilibrium positions, one equilibrium constant at a given temperature. So what do you do here? Quite simply, if you're given the equilibrium concentrations, plug them in. So it's 2.00 for the concentration of the NH3, but it's squared. And don't forget to take all of those numbers. And don't, yeah, don't forget, chem guy. Yeah, that's right. Don't forget. Yeah, cube that. And then that's going to be 2.00, which, which is the concentration of the NH2. And the concentration of the H2 was 1.00 moles per liter, but cubed. Well, 1 cubed, of course, is going to be 1, and that's going to be 4 divided by 2, which is going to be 2. But look at I'm keeping all of my significant digits. So in the end, my k value equals 2.00 for a very rudimentary type of question. And then they can become a little bit more interesting, and we might have to construct something very logical here in order to be able to answer a little bit more difficult questions when we're trying to find k.